Cars are not cheap, we all know that, but some cars, well, some are so pricey that they'll literally drain your bank account of all of its funds. The price of the cars in this video will make your eyes water and your wallet cry. These are the most expensive cars in the world. Number 20. Bugatti La Vautour Noir, 18.9 million. Only one of these cars was ever produced, and that's no small wonder really when you look at the price tag. I mean, gee whiz, we can only dream of buying one of these gorgeous but pricey bad boys. That's right, it actually sold for a staggering $18.9 million, and there can't be many people around with a wallet fat enough to be purchasing a car in that category. But what exactly did this buyer get for their crazy money? Well, they got a Bugatti La Vautour Noir, which has 16 cylinders, 4 turbochargers, and 1,500 horsepower, along with 11 780 pounds per foot of torque and the boast that is one of a kind. The car should have come in at a cool $12.5 million, but it wound up at almost $19 million by the time that all the taxes were paid. You'd really have to be quite the enthusiast to purchase this car. The black car, which is what La Vautour Noir translates to, is an homage to the original black car, which was built in the early 20th century but disappeared before the outbreak of World War II and has never been seen again. That particular vehicle such a source of legend and mystery that even 110 years after it was created, Bugatti built this one-off work of art as a nod to that fabled car of the past. And with this new car's astonishing selling price, it makes its own legend as the most expensive new car of all time. What do you think? If you could afford this car, would you buy one or even two? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments below. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. The Lamborghini Anchion is one of the priciest cars on the market. It's understandable because it's gorgeous, but boy oh boy will it empty your wallet. At present time, it is just a concept car, meaning that there's no set price, but estimations are already sky high, looking almost like the Batmobile. This thing is a sight to behold for all gas heads. When these things hit the market, would you consider getting one? As always, comment down below using the hashtag sweet topic and let me know what you think in relation to what we just showed you on the screen. Number 19. Rolls-Royce Sweptail, $13 million. Before the black car made the top of the priciest list, there was this one-off wonder. The Rolls-Royce Sweptail is a large luxury vehicle made in the UK in 2017. It would debut at a fancy car show where it was declared to be the most expensive automobile in the world, and the $13 million Sweptail design was based on the Rolls-Royce Phantom Coupe, and it slowly and methodically was built by hand over the course of four laborious years. It was actually commissioned by a so-called super yacht and aircraft specialist who requested a bespoke car which was influenced by the coach building techniques of the 1920s and 30s. It has been described by those in the industry as a vehicular equivalent of hot couture, and it's not so far from the truth. If the general components of something are the same as a regular version, whether that's a frock or a motor car, then to charge such an astronomical price, each part of it must be handmade and unique at the very least. Otherwise, it's an even bigger racket than it first appears. Even so, just who would, or even could, spend this much money on a car? Number 18. $5 million Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita only two of these vehicles would ever be produced, so that makes it pretty special indeed, but not quite unique. 
The Koenigsegg brand is known and respected worldwide for their immaculate bodywork, which is apparently peerless. The Travita uses a unique coated carbon fiber that transforms the traditional car manufacturing fibers from black to shiny silver white. This means that when the sun hits the Travita, it has a diamond sparkle that can't be found anywhere else in the car-owning world. And apparently that's one of the reasons that this car costs a ludicrously expensive $5 million. Or at least it did when it was new. One of these two cars was owned by boxer Floyd Mayweather for a while, and when he sold it, the vehicle made a cool $2.6 million. That's a considerable depreciation, and this kind of fancy car purchase is definitely not an investment. In here right now, let's see, our gauges are warming up nicely. These things will lose money value overnight, more than the average person could earn in a lifetime of graft. The Trevita's shiny, that much we know. But what else can it do? Well, it does feature all the fun stuff you'd hope for in a high-end performance vehicle. It has a special carbon rear wing, an Inconel exhaust system, a carbon ceramic brake with ABS system, and airbags, along with tire monitoring systems, hydraulic lift systems, and a so-called infotainment system. So many systems in one little vehicle, so you know it must be good. Number 17. World's Most Expensive Car – Mercedes with 300,000 Diamonds now, who would have thought it? A Saudi prince owning a mega expensive vehicle? You don't say! This particular expensive car is not actually the most expensive in the world. Pardon us for that misleading headline. However, it is in contention for the car with all the most expensive stuff inside it. This Mercedes, which belongs to Saudi prince Amir al Walid bin Talal bin Abdul Aziz, he's evidently a modest man who who does not go in for excess in any form. His car collection numbers a mere 50 vehicles, and this particular model was designed to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Mercedes-Benz's SL550 back in 2007. It was complete with 300,000 diamonds and mink-covered interiors. Of course it was. And all this car and fancy detailing was apparently worth a mere $4.8 million. The guy probably just has that kind of change down the back couch cushions. Number 16. Lamborghini Veneno Roadster – $4.5 million Nine Lamborghini Veneno Roadsters were produced back in the mid-2010s, each one costing a cool $4.5 million. This insane price tag made the Veneno Roadster one of the most expensive production cars in the whole world at the time. And unlike some other supercars, these ones just don't seem to be suffering from the same depreciation issues as others. There was an example on the market again for auction at Sotheby's, and it was given an estimated value between five and six million dollars, and that vehicle had, of course, been previously owned by a Saudi prince. This car is the Lamborghini version of the racing prototype that was built for the road and has been especially designed to improve airflow and downforce, giving the car more stability and all-around drivability. Number 15. McLaren P1 LM – $3.6 million This car is the almost street-legal version of the track, only McLaren P1 GTR. It was not a production car, so to speak, but was produced in a small number to sell a select group of buyers in the UK, the USA, Japan, and the UAE. In fact, they only made five of the P1LM in total. So what kind of features could you expect in a vehicle that's basically a track racing car? Well, apart from the unique ability to get you killed in double quick time, or at the very least make you the proud owner of multiple speeding fines and points on your license, the car is fast. In fact, it's kind of the whole point of the thing. In a race around Silverstone Circuit, the P1 finished at 58.24 seconds, just ahead of the car's closest rivals, the LaFerrari and the 918 Spider. Other road-ready cars that are so very high performance that they can win track races. You know, exactly what you need when you're stuck on the M25 at a snail's pace for 75% of your life. Number 14. 
Lycan Hypersport. Some supercars are built for performance, others are built to be very shiny. Very, very shiny, in fact. The Lycan Hypersport is one such vehicle, and boy is it ever shiny. It's one of the most expensive cars in the world on the account of its rather liberally applied precious metals and its decoration. Obviously, a car would not be any good at all if it did not have an interior that was swathed in platinum, gold, and silver, and of course, diamonds, lots and lots of diamonds. In fact, the diamonds didn't just hide themselves away inside this car, they were pebble dashed across the whole exterior as well, finding their way into LED optics and generally adorning adorning the car with even more jewels than Elizabeth Taylor on a particularly jewel-encrusted day. As well as the most ludicrously expensive frilly bits on this car, the manufacturers have used the classic scarcity trick to make this one pricey purchase. There were only seven of these Lycan Hypersports ever produced. Such an effectively simple way to guarantee the interest of the eternally bored and ego-driven individuals with pockets deep enough to entertain such a car. Oh, and this thing is positively loaded with beverage holders. What more could you even desire in a vehicle? Number 13. Bugatti Veyron Mansory Viver LE 3.4 million dollars. Ah yes, the strictly limited edition label has been applied to the Bugatti Veyron Mansory Viver LE. Try saying that without your teeth in. And all that exclusivity all but guarantees a queue of buyers that will be looking to be one of the lucky few that get to fork out $3.4 million, all for the privilege of owning one. This luxury car racket is the business to be in, that's for sure. They claim that this is the absolute pinnacle of engineering brilliance and craftsmanship that's combined with luxury in such a way that only Bugatti could achieve it. They boast of a beautiful hand-picked material and the classiest interior that's ever existed, as well as all those important driving experiences you'll have, which frankly should be the main priority in a vehicle. If you're just looking for a comfortable seat, then buy a nice couch or a diamond-studded steering wheel and then buy a necklace, you know. Anyways, the Mansory Viver was designed with performance and visual design at the forefront, and it is a pretty car indeed, but what do you think? Is it worth the exclusive price tag? Number 12. Aston Martin Valkyrie the limited production Aston Martin Valkyrie was a collaborative effort between the British car manufacturers and Red Bull Racing Advanced Technologies, along with several other smaller partner companies. The idea behind it was to produce a track-oriented car that was also completely road-ready and usable. By combining the classic design qualities of an Aston Martin and the racing interests of the Red Bull team, the result was a vehicle that they claim is the fastest street-legal car in the entire world. It's important to ask, though, what exactly do you need the fastest ever street-legal car for? If it would actually be entirely illegal to drive it anywhere where close to its potential top speed on any road. Sorry to be a party pooper, but the minute you attempt to drive it like the racer that it is, you'd be liberated of your driver's license and no doubt paying a sizable fine for the privilege of putting your expensive car back in the garage for at least a 12-month ban period. Mm, such fun, and no doubt exactly what everyone has in mind when they're redesigning such useful vehicles. Number 11. Ferrari Pininfarina Sergio, $3 million. When you're a world-famous car designer, your legacy is such that after you die, they're going to design a fancy car in your honor and release it as a tribute. For a substantial price to an exclusive clientele, of course. The designer in question was Sergio Pininfarina, and the concept car that was created in his name was the Ferrari Pininfarina Sergio. This is a high-performance vehicle which has been designed to be optimized with the top open. That, of course, is the best way to look fancy in your posh car, but it's also notoriously rubbish for aerodynamics. Not so with this vehicle, however. They've tested 
tested this extensively to optimize the aerodynamic quality even with the top down. The car was deemed to be worthy of production in a very limited edition, and in 2015 Ferrari built six units of the Sergio, selling them to an extremely exclusive selection of hand-picked customers. How lucky to be chosen by Ferrari to give them three million dollars. Tell me, just how does one become such a fortunate and fancy individual? Number 10. Pagani Huayra BC, $2.8 million After the Zonda came the Pagani Huayra BC. This exclusive sports car was designed and built by the Italian car manufacturers and named after the Wind God, if you like that sort of thing. This car is appropriately what's known as a hypercar, meaning that it presumably has gone much further than the requirements to be included in the super category and therefore needs to be bumped up a notch. So, this Pagani was set to be produced in a limited run of 100 from 2012. By 2015, they had all been sold. This car was focused on being as fast as it possibly could be, with a 6-liter twin turbocharged V12 engine and all the bells and whistles that fans of the Pagani brand have come to know and love. The thing can really shift as well. If there were any left to purchase, one of them could be yours for the bargain price of $2.8 million. Number 9. Ferrari F60 America – $2.5 million Based on the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, the F60 America also draws its inspiration from the classic 1967 275 GTS 4 Nart. The result is a good-looking modern supercar with all the style and class of the golden age of Ferrari. The blue paint is a limited edition run that pays tribute to the 60th anniversary of the Ferrari in the United States, and it has a distinctly more safety-conscious design than the car that it references from history, featuring two leather-wrapped roll bars with carbon fiber trimmed flying buttresses, which goes to show that you can be safe without compromising on style. The five-spoke alloy wheels and special 60th anniversary badge design on the front fenders lend the car a sense of class. The uh behind the machine is provided by its 6.3-liter V12 engine producing 730 horsepower and 509 pound-feet of torque. It's connected to a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, giving the car the ability to accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just about 3.1 seconds. Vroom vroom, all yours for a snip at $2.5 million. Number 8. Ferrari La Ferrari – $1.4 million This limited production mid-engine hybrid sports car was built, obviously, by the Italian manufacturer Ferrari. It was considered at the time to be basically the ultimate Ferrari and could be purchased for a mere measly $1.4 million. This vehicle is the first full hybrid that Ferrari produced and has been designed to produce the highest output on the road of any other of their vehicles while still managing to reduce fuel consumption by a staggering 40%. This is no mean fact when you consider that the LaFerrari can match up with the best of any track vehicles out there and has some of the best numbers in the business as well. With a top speed of 220 miles per hour and an ability to go from 0 to 62 in under 3 seconds, the hybrid aspects of LaFerrari certainly take nothing from its overall performance. Two models of the vehicle were produced, the Coupe between 2013 and 2016, and then the Aperta between 2016 and 2018, all before the car was finally succeeded by the Ferrari Daytona SP3. Number 7. Zenvo ST1 – $1.2 million Danish company Zenvo Automotive designed the high-performance Zenvo ST1 and produced it between the years of 2009 and 2016. This luxury sports car was such a labor of love that it was built almost entirely by hand by a small team of workers. 
The twin-charged 7011 CCLS 7 V8 engine can generate 11,004 PS at 6,900 RPM. It can go from 0 to 62 in about 3 seconds and 0 to 124 miles per hour in a mere 8.9 seconds. But of course, you would never be driving that fast now, would you? That would be extremely naughty indeed. And its top speed of 233 miles per hour? Well, that's just daftly superfluous, surely. The Zenvo ST1 would be designed with all the fancy things that these new fangled vehicles have nowadays. You know, keyless entry, something crazy called sat-nav, and wildest of all, electrically adjustable leather racing seats. It must be a slip in the space-time continuum that we're seeing into the future. Such things simply cannot be possible, and all for the bargain price of $1.2 million. Ah, it can only be a dream. Number 6. McLaren Elva, $1.7 million. Well, are you having fun poking about in all these expensive vehicles? Who knew what fancy things were going on in the garages of the rich and famous? So now we have, for your lucky, lucky eyeballs, some bang up to date super expensive car action. So buckle up, because it's a speedy one. The 2021 McLaren Elva is a hyper roadster. Apparently that's a thing now as well. Anyways, they were obviously trying to save money or something when they produced this car as they built it without a windscreen. I mean, who needs a windscreen anyway? The idea, as crazy as it may sound, is that this car doesn't need one because it's all the extremely clever mechanical sums that McLaren's team have been doing. The windscreen has effectively been replaced by McLaren's AAMS, that is their Active Air Management System, which is a pop-up vent that sucks air away and then bends it 130 degrees through a bunch of veins, releasing it over your head. This, they say, creates a kind of air curtain, which becomes a virtual windscreen. Aerodynamics are the main feature of this sleek design, and McLaren have pushed the design boundaries to create a completely new and distinctly contemporary hypercar. And all of this, available for a small price of $1.7 million. Number 5. The Bentley Bacalar the Bentley Bacalar is not for your everyday use. There's no point in using this car to pop out to the shops because it has no roof, or indeed any weather protection at all, and there isn't really anywhere to put your shopping bags. However, if you're a speed freak, the Bacalar is an almost peerless drive. This no-roof business is becoming quite the trend in the luxury high-performance car manufacturing industry. And of course, my pet guinea pig Twinkle appreciates the way her hair flows in the wind as you're driving along. But did I miss a memo? Are roofs now canceled? Did they write an ill-considered tweet or something? Because the roof has more or less been exiled from the contemporary fast car design, and that seems to be a rather limiting feature. Apparently, the roof was simply just slowing things down all these years. Technology has now moved on to such a degree that the need for a roof to maximize aerodynamics is now superfluous. The Bentley Bacalar was to be produced in very limited runs of just 12, all of which were sold before they were even built. That's how you create hype right there. Bentley has a tradition of naming its cars after so-called remarkable landmarks, and this one is named for the Laguna Bacalar in Mexico, which is a beautiful lake in the Yucatan Peninsula. Number 4. Bugatti Bolide, $3 million. Now, apparently Bugatti got the name for this car from the French slang word for very fast car, and that's what Bolide means. This car is so very fast, in fact, that it's not actually street legal and can only be used for track driving, which limits any potential purchaser somewhat, I should imagine. How many people have their own racetrack, after all? Built to be super light as well as super fast, the modified 8-liter 16-cylinder engine can reach a top speed of well over 300 miles per hour. 
The main reason that this vehicle is absolutely not a road car is that they simply don't have all the crash safety stuff that's required. You know, airbags. But they do have some safety things that are required on many racetracks like harness fittings and whatnot. The whole thing that seems to have been bordering on an obsession with this car is to reduce weight and improve aerodynamics. The idea here is to get it as fast and light as possible. It's built from lightweight carbon fiber and titanium alloys, and the whole thing weighs just over 2,700 pounds which is still considerably heavier than your wallet will be after you splash out the three million dollars that it's gonna cost to buy the thing. Number three, Bugatti Devo, 5.8 million dollars. Another point, another Bugatti. These guys have really cornered the wallet-busting high-performance vehicle market. They just keep on producing some of the fastest and fanciest luxury vehicles in the world. Taking its inspiration from the classic Bugatti Type 57SC Atlantic and the Bugatti Vision Gran Turismo, the Bugatti Devo has its eye on track performance as its main objective. This car's top speed is recorded at 236 miles per hour, and it has a 1,005 pound downforce when at top speed. It shares many of its features with the Bugatti Chiron, but what this car has sacrificed in terms of luxury, it makes up for in its lightweight aerodynamic speed. The Devo is a racing car of pure pedigree that was limited to a run of just 40 units all of them actually pre-sold before the car was publicly debuted. Which is quite astonishing, given the fact that they cost a mind-bending $5.8 million apiece. They were manufactured alongside the Chiron at the Bugatti factory for the whole of the limited run, and the last of them would be produced in July of 2021. Number 2. Mercedes Maybach Accelero, $8 million. Here we go again, back in the realm of one-off concept cars and the crazy high prices that they can command. The Maybach Accelero was a high-performance sports car made by Stola in a collaborative effort with Daimler Chrysler. It was unveiled at a car show in Berlin in 2005, and it's hard to imagine that people didn't at least slightly suspect that the designer was a tiny bit influenced by the Batmobile. The Accelero was powered by a twin-turbo V12 engine, which was made by the now-defunct German car company Maybach, which is now incorporated into Mercedes-Benz. With a top speed of 218 miles per hour and an acceleration of 0 to 62 in just about 4.4 seconds, the other aspect of this vehicle was that especially important way that it looked. This was obviously quite a unique vehicle on the outside, but on the inside, it was equally as fancy. The interior would be constructed in dark and red leather with neoprene, black carbon fiber, and aluminum accents. Ooh, spooky. This car has been featured in music videos and has been owned by various rappers. It's also popped up in anime and, of course, plenty of YouTube videos. Number 1. Lamborghini Cien. FKP 37. The Italian car manufacturer Lamborghini would unveil the CN on September 3rd of 2019. They were a tiny bit late to the hybrid vehicle party, but better late than never, and the CN is now in production, available in either a coupe or roadster version, just perfect for all of your rap video requirements. Huzzah! The name of this car comes from the Bolognese word, meaning a flash of lightning, and its design borrows heavily from the Lamborghini Aventador. Well, why not? It's a popular choice, and hey, they have basically switched out the insides to make a hybrid with extra efficient fuel consumption abilities, without compromising on style for indeed speed. It has the extraordinary acceleration speed of 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds, and the distinctive wedge shape of the Lambo is well and truly on show here, along with the super luxe interior utilizing leather, obviously, but also the new technology of 3D printing to create the various interior parts. Production is now underway, but it's planned to be limited with a run of just 63 units of the coupe 
and 19 units of the Roadster. And before you scamper off to get your piggy bank, they've all been sold already, so you are out of luck. Wow, what a selection box of expensive vehicles. We really do spoil you now, don't we? Which of these cars is on your Christmas list? And what do you think about these insanely expensive price tags? Let us know all about it in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.